So my gun collection application was created to allow you to quickly access and view details about the firearms that you have in your collection. We tried to make it easy where if you just want to have the base details that's required by law enforcement stored up for reports, you can do that. Or if you want to do more details, like track ammunition attached with it, accessories, gun maintenance, any gunsmithing details, if it was sold, um, any type of condition details, you can store it in here. We allow you to store everything where you can view all firearms that are in your collection and stuff that was sold. You can view just only in stock. You can view I items that were marked as CNR or non-CNR. Anything that has a custom catalog number or anything that was sold or stolen. When you add a firearm, it will appear here on the left hand side. You can rename it to something else that's a little easier to read if you had a nickname for it. But once you have everything all set, all you have to do is just find the firearm in the list, double click on it, and you can view the details that you entered in, such as manufacturer, importer, model number, serial number, type it is, calibers, the condition that it was bought in, where you bought it from, the purchase price, any appraisal details, feed systems, sites, where you stored it at, barrel length, full length of rifle, any condition notes that you might have uh, custom put in like trigger pulls and miscellaneous details. Um, additional notes for this particular farm, it was just the details of the scout rifle. Any pictures that you have, you can upload it and store in the database. When you uh, store it, you're allowed to put in details such as the title for the picture and uh, more details about that picture. So when you hover over your mouse, it will display that information. You are also able to view a gallery report. So pull up all pictures in this or all the pictures in this report and show a picture per page with the title of the details you put in and the notes at the bottom. It will also store accessories that are related to the fire, this firearm in particular. Ammunition is matched up from your ammunition inventory with the caliber that is listed, caliber of calibers that are listed with the firearm. Any type of maintenance details such as you know cleaning, nothing, um, long-term storage. You know you can you can create your own maintenance plan that will have details about that firearm number of rounds that are put through it. You can do it manually or you can actually subtract from your inventory by selecting the round that you use and the amount that you did and just add through. Once you add, click finish. It will store it on the last number of rounds and the ammo that was used. Click add. And then it will add that to the details. Also store information such as gunsmithing and if the firearm was sale or sold or stolen. In the maintenance details, it didn't show that uh, it will also keep track of the number of rounds that fired through the firearm and the average of rounds. And that is based upon um, all the information that you put in the maintenance details. So this is usually handy for those that need to keep track of how many rounds are put through a barrel before they have to replace it or such thing as recoil springs that need to be replaced after 5,000 rounds, etc. The ammunition inventory, you can store each details of the ammunition which will relate back to the firearm based upon the caliber. Within here you can 
be the complete total rounds or the individual by manufacturer, name, caliber, grain, jacket, uh, velocity, and quantity. You can also enable the auditing of it so you can add actually add rounds to this particular you can to this particular um, section here so if I want to add information to the Winchester 9mm Luger I could just add quantities to here and it will store it within the inventory or the audit information so I can look back on when I bought a particular box how much it ran for and the price per bullet if you need to do if you wanted a printout then you can also just quickly access the ammunition inventory report and print the details out of that report for a hard copy for wherever you might have your ammo stored you can also do a bound book report for in case it's requested by law enforcement you can change the title if needed. Before you print it out, and by default, it will display the list of firearms you have and the time you entered entered them in, which is usually associated with the time you purchased it. Um, but sometimes that's not the case. But we do have that ability to sort the whole list. By a particular category such as purchase date, CNR only, by the brand and caliber, the shop you bought it by, the caliber, etc. We do have additional reports for insurance. Some insurances go by purchase value, some will do insured value, um, and some will do by appraised value. So you can print this information out. for your insurance if needed. A lot of the things we do try and tie in together so the when you actually put in a shop you can actually view the shops that are listed within here and it will show the details in case you wanted to call on if they're you know uh, just ones you want to keep in contact with and it will also show the firearms that are associated that you have bought from there associated with it. If you have any questions, please uh, go to our website www.burnsoft.net and um, you can email us or submit a form to have any questions or you could call us. Um, the program is free for 30 days, uh, full access, so you should not find any restrictions other than after 30 days I'll ask you for registration key. Thank you for your time.